In this video, we will show you how to capture a scene from Internet Explorer using the Real-Time Designer Scene Composer, and then how to use the captured screen elements in a business flow. This video is intended for those of you who already use the Real-Time Designer, but want to learn more about working with the Scene Composer. First, a quick reminder about the Scene Composer. With the Scene Composer, you can capture a snapshot of an application or web page, which encapsulates the different elements found in the application. For example, images, text, buttons, etc. Unlike the Physical Objects module that captures a single element or control at a time, the Scene Composer captures multiple elements in the application or page. You can then use those screen elements when designing your business workflows. In our demonstration, we will show you how to capture web pages from Internet Explorer, define our screen elements in the Real-Time Designer, and set up a business logic. We will then demonstrate how to invoke link and text field screen elements, which will trigger a callout on the screen. In the Designer Scene Composer tab, click to capture your first scene from the application. Now in the toolbox, you can define different screen elements that you want to use in your business flow. For Internet Explorer, the available elements can be found under the HTML section. In this scene, we are defining the search field from the web page as an HTML text box and the search button as an HTML link. You can define and customize various properties of the screen elements. For example, for the HTML anchor, you can change the way the designer identifies the HTML element. In this case, we will use only the URL for identification and verification of the screen element. For links, it's possible to disable the SPATH options. For the second page capture, instead of using the HTML text box to select the link, we will use the Designer Helper tool, which helps to identify multiple elements in the screen, including text fields. Now it's time to create event handlers in the Business Logic tab, which will specify the conditions for triggering and displaying callouts. The first event handler defines when to activate the first scene. Please note that it is important that you first activate a scene before defining any additional actions on elements within the scene. To do so, we select the event from the drop-down list. In this case, choose Scene 1, Scene Activated Event. Remember to give the event handler a suitable name. And the same can be done for the second scene. Now create an event handler for clicking on a link. Select Scenes, Scene 2, Controls, Hyperlink, Clicked. Either before or after creating the event handlers, we can create the callouts used in this flow. This is done in the Presentation tab. The first callout will appear when the first scene is activated. Rename the callout with a meaningful name. The second callout will appear when the second scene is activated. The third callout will appear when the link is clicked on. Back in the business logic, we can now add the necessary functions to our event handlers for triggering the callouts when scenes are activated and for when clicking on the link. For the scene activation, select Insert Instruction, select Function, Callout, Scene Activation, Show and OK. After repeating the procedure for the second scene, a similar procedure can be used for the link. Now we will run the main project and open the monitor to invoke the previously defined actions. In the Monitor Scene section, expand the HTML options. For the first scene, the options are available in the Functions tab. 
By clicking Invoke, the scene is activated and the relevant callout is displayed. Once again, the scene must be activated even if the web page is already open. For the search field in the properties, replace the search text with your own text and the new text appears in the search field. For the link, you can invoke the click function and the relevant callout is displayed. Once again, the scene is activated. Now you can do the same action for the second link, which opens a new page. In this video, you have seen how to use the Scene Composer to capture screen elements from Internet Explorer and use the screen elements in your business workflow.